Hello everybody! Welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy XIII 2 walkthrough. Um, so we've got a really live here with... Um, <laughs> a really short one there, I guess, with uh, Atlas... I don't know, his arm doing arm things. <laughs> it's Atlas! in the center of the ruins. Another unknown device has appeared. Did the device appear along with Atlas? If Atlas is a weapon built by humans, they must have designed a way to stop it. And that machine showing up is no coincidence. Right. Two choices. We try that new device and hope it controls Atlas. Or do it the old-fashioned way and fight him head on. No regrets, no looking back. Okay. So we've got a live trigger here. We either fight Atlas head on or take our chances with the device uh, before I decide how do I reply. Uh, I think this is an opportunity for a funny answer, which I think is what does Mog think. Um, yeah, that's what I want. Hey here, Mog, so. what do you think about all this? Um, I, I think I like Sarah more I like than Noah. Sarah more than I like <laughs> Noah. Goodbye. Ouch. You know I have feelings, right? Okay. <laughs> now kind of watching these, I wish I didn't go with the funny answers, you know? I wish I would have gone with, I don't know, more appropriate uh, answers to these questions. But um, again, you know, trying to get the, uh, the more difficult items first. So, uh, kind of don't really have much uh, go, 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 go. But, uh, all right. Okay. Easy Sorry. stuff. Um, not sure how much of leveling. Again, now I, I keep losing track of how many times I've actually gone into the Crystarium and, uh, and leveled my character. I know there's a, a little bit of a leveling streak here at the end of the video. Um, so I suspect that's at least the second time, or that will be the second time. Because I think I've only really done one kind of leveling session. Um, I typically save up my CP, or at least that's what I'm trying to do for this playthrough, just so um, I can show you guys exactly how I leveled my characters. Okay, so this is Chester again. I, he, I guess he really makes a huge patrol, uh, or he patrols a very large area, or he just wandered here, uh, closer to where the ghast fragment actually is at. If it's the giant you um, want to take down, then take a look around. Yeah, I, I, I could have swore I, I talked to him the first time way down by the tunnels, I think? Like the southern tunnels? So, again, I don't know. Maybe he just automatically walks you know here I'm as you get you. a little bit closer, Everyone I'm is. not sure. Uh, either way, it's kind of neat that he's he's there now. Uh, but the gas fragment is over here, and you'll definitely want to stop here first. Um, I had to do this. I had to do this battle actually twice. You notice here, I tried to unlock that um, uh, that treasure. Or I sorry, I um I revealed it using the mod one. Uh, Unfortunately, I was a little bit too close to gas, so I wasn't able to actually uh, attack it so that I could get a, uh, you know, you know kind of get the jump on him, and get the, the haste buff and stuff, but, but, uh, I did hit the retry option, which, a uh, very, very cool option for this game, you know, you just retry and uh, you get to basically start the battle over and uh, attempt to uh, get that haste buff, which uh, obviously I did, so, um, do that. Now, uh, this, this battle actually just really didn't go that that well. Um, I don't know if I was just a little bit too slow to, to go back to my healing paradigm. So, that's that's the big issue here. He uses Fyra, and uh, Fyra is a multi-target, and right now I only have the, the catch she as my healer, and unfortunately that is not a very good healer. Um, 
So it, it can't really keep up with the healing very well. Going okay, it's going a lot better than I remember. Maybe it falls apart at some point. I just need rock. But, uh, I do know though, my uh, my characters are very. You know, I, I want to use the term under leveled, um, which maybe not that accurate. But uh, I should have just spent more time in the Pizarro first before actually starting this fight. Uh, that actually would have been a good, should have, would have been a really good time to spend some of the CP that I had saved up. Because you'll notice here, yeah, I've got a one star for this. Uh, which, whatever, I still got a potion out of the deal. Um, and I don't, I don't know that the gas ever really drop anything good anyway, so the fact that I didn't get a five star doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, but there's a star pendant there that we uh, revealed, and we've got actually another... Um, we've got another life trigger uh, in this corner, so... Uh, this is a, a one that's really easy to miss. Actually, a lot of them are really easy to miss in this uh, this this set, I guess I would say. All right, so here we need to speak with Noel. Hey, Noel. Is Atlas used in some war that happens in the future? Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, I remember this. Are you forgetting stuff? My memories are unreliable. There are events I should remember, but my memory is hazy, like I'm seeing them through fog glass. But not this time. I remember this one. There was a war, hundreds of years before I was born. That's when Cocoon crashed into Pulse. Alright, in the future it's taught that Cocoon fell to Pulse during a war. What should I ask Noel to clarify? Um, I think this is, again, another opportunity for a funny answer. Yeah, and so stop joking around. Are you joking? You'll know when I'm telling a joke. Trust me. If we travel to the future, maybe we can stop it. Who's to say what's possible? That could be the reason we're here in the first place. Okay. Ah, uh, so... That's sort of an important plot point. It kind of, sort of comes into play a little bit later, um, so I don't know, I guess you keep that in the back of your minds. Alright, what do we have here? Some Nectons. That's a whole lot. That was a really fast battle. Okay. Moving on. Uh, there is an enemy called the Pulsework Knight down here in these tunnels, which I am going to spend a bit of time to try to get. See here if I can get into a battle. This might be one battle with them. Yeah, here we are. Um, I don't think I actually got it to drop the, or got it to uh, capture it this this time. Um, one thing that I want to point out, and this is a perfect opportunity, um, you can actually see when you obtain one of the monster crystals during battle. So um, oftentimes when you're hunting a certain monster, what you'll what you'll have happen is you'll kill it. And uh, especially if it's the only one in battle, you just have to kill it, and that's that's it. Um, you either you either get it or you don't. That's just you know kind of how it goes. But the cool thing is with this game, and uh, if you've got multiple monsters, and you're trying to capture a certain one, you can actually take it out first. Now, um, in this case, I didn't do it right, um, or I didn't think about it, um, because obviously I killed off the two Ketchis first. And, uh, so now when the Pulse Work Knight dies. Um, if it doesn't drop its crystal, there just won't, there, I won't have an option of, um, basically of retrying the battle because I will have killed everything. So that's, that's actually really important. So, uh, again, and, and that really helps with the more rare monsters as well. I don't know if I would say that the Pulse Earth Knight is rare by any means. They're, they're fairly common down here, but, um, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of time... I should say, if you want the Pulse Work Knight and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time farming down here, which, again, now I'll be I'll be completely honest. I think it's actually a, this is a decent area to farm in. Uh, so, you know, I guess again, do what you want to do. But again, there is a, that that really cool trick where if you you kill the monster and it you'll you'll actually see it forms a crystal and it kind of floats up above where the monster used to be. 
um, and then you can finish off the rest of the monsters, you know, and, and you'll know. Otherwise, if you don't, if it doesn't, uh, you know, if a crystal doesn't form, uh, you can always hit the retry option and try it again. So again, it's a it's a really cool way to uh, to not have to waste a whole lot of extra time in an area, uh, you know, if you're hunting for a specific monster. So cool trick, learn it, love it. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't uh, think about it until, uh, well, I had missed opportunities to get a monster that I really wanted. Um, and again, it's more the, it's really more the rare ones that uh, this trick is more useful for. You know, just ones that you're not able to you know, constantly get into fights with. So, again, keep that in mind. Uh, Pulse Work Knights. Now, um, this battle. The thing is, basically the battle is over once you get the Pulse Work Knights here, because they're, um, I mean, once you, once you stagger them, they literally can't do anything else to you, um, which is, which is great, uh, because actually these guys, ironically, uh, do a ton of damage. Uh, if you notice there, they, they use Head Spin, which actually kind of knocks your characters up into the air, so it kind of like, uh, you know, it stops you kind of in your trap. Can be quite annoying. Here I did try to use the feral link to finish this thing off um, to try to increase my chances of getting it, but if you notice there, again, I didn't. So, you know, gotta just gotta stick with it. Um, okay, it looks like I'm not going to continue on. Yet. Oh yeah, um, we're not supposed to actually. Uh, there's a there's a little uh, I don't know gadget thing that we have to interact with in this next room coming up. So um, I'm going to head that direction. So I guess I don't know what I'm, I don't know where I'm going and I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to uh, wanted to track down uh, the NPC uh, for our our reward for defeating the gas. Um, but I don't know that you need to. I think you get the. I think you actually get the reward right when you beat the gas, and I I think I just didn't notice that. But um. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think uh and. As far as I know, that was Chester back there. He didn't have a, you know, like a text bubble over his head or a conversation bubble. So uh, again, like I said, I think that we already got our reward, and we actually don't need to speak with Chester. I think when you pass by him, he mentions something about how uh, we've already taken out the gas. So. Yeah. So. Uh, this is actually another really good. Ad wow! Yeah, I got worked over here. Um, this is another really good example of me just not not spending enough time in the um, in the historian because this shouldn't be this really new fight shouldn't be this difficult. Granted, again, I was super slow to react to. Um, Not, not doing great. I, yeah, like I said, I held off on uh, visiting the Chrysarium. I shouldn't have. I held off a little too long. Uh, this area here, actually a place where I ran into one of the rare monsters called the Albino Lobo. Uh, the Albino Lobo is actually a fantastic Ravager for this point in the game. Uh, I actually do end up hunting it down and capturing it. Uh, it's a great, a great um, example of what you can do with what I was mentioning earlier there, because you always, as far as I know anyway, the Lobos always appear, or the Albino Lobos are, always appear in packs of two. So you can finish one off, and then if it drops the crystal, you're good to go. Um, but if it doesn't drop that, if that first one doesn't drop the crystal, uh, you can just retry and, uh, and you know, give it another shot. Hopefully you'll get it in the next battle. Uh, 
it's a, again, a great trick, uh, especially because the, if your luck is as bad as mine, which I have. I have notoriously bad luck in, in video games in general. So, uh, <laughs> RNG is just not, um, not, uh, doesn't like me much, but that's okay. Uh, persistence, that's what it's all about. Uh, but anyways, like I said, this was where I actually ran into a set of them. Uh, I don't, I don't even, uh, I could probably take them right now, even, even though I haven't really been, again, visiting the Kassarian much. Um, but they might not even actually appear yet, though, that I think about it. You might have to defeat Atlas for them to, to even appear. I just don't remember. It's been... I don't know what the requirements for them, uh, you know, showing up are. That's it's kind of the way some of these areas work, where you have to defeat the final, kind of, like, boss in order for certain monsters to appear. I know that happens in uh, Sunlight Waterscape as well. So, again... I'm not sure if that's uh, that's what happens here or not, but uh, the reality is Atlas is really easy. You know, it's not like you need you know some super powered up, souped up monsters in order to take him down. He's, he, he is really easy. So, um, anyways, we'll continue on here. But like I said, the the first time I ran into a set of those albino lobos was right in this little corridor here. Right. The which I still haven't got his second capsule, so maybe, and I don't know which video I, I grabbed that in, but I do finally get it eventually. The sanction was dissolved five years ago, but I hear rumors that members of the former government are trying to regain time. Um, here I am still looking for, I think his name was Chester. Uh, the uh, the guard that wanted us to take with the gas, but again, I can't I can't seem to find him. Actually, shouldn't say that. I think we already passed by him. You just don't you don't talk to him again. Nice work there, soldier. Okay, uh, so this is the other uh, guard that's got the quest. Um, and I, like I said, I I've still only got the one capsule, uh, which you know the other one is in those tunnels. <laughs> we could actually use a little bit before I, before I get that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this video that I actually finish that quest up. Uh, so here's some hoplites. These guys, um, I think these are, oh, well, I want to say they're sentries. So if you if you need a sentry, I, I really don't think, uh, and I can't really recommend these guys as a sentry. Uh, just because, again, the, the pulse of night is, uh, is better. And, um, uh, it's, it's actually pretty, pretty easy to get. <laughs> well, I say fairly easy to get, and I've already, I've already failed twice to get them. <clears throat> but, again, persistence. Persistence does pay off, by the way, I can assure you that. I've actually collected now a few of the, the rare monsters again in this playthrough, so, um, you know, obviously not quite yet. I've got, I've got some footage that I haven't made videos for yet, but I will, uh, I will be showing off my, showing off my stuff when I get there, or when we get there. But, uh, alright, so where are we headed now? I think I'm going to, oh, this is where I was getting annoyed. And I started, or I equipped these, uh, the DLC weapons for a little bit. I actually just really don't like it, especially that, uh, nose weapon there. I don't know, it looks, there's something about, like, the future, like, that, that one, I mean, it looks like, kind of like an energy, or like a lightsaber, you know, the, the, the style that you'd see in, like, one of the, um, one of the Star Wars games or something like that. So I really don't like that one, but, um... I equipped him for just a short amount of time, and then I just ended up, you know, going back. I was like, ah, no, no, come on. <laughs> I really wanted to try to stay away from the DLC uh, as much as I could. Um, reality is, even at this point in the game, it's not like they're, you know, super overpowered or anything like that. They're really not. Uh, but the ATB, you know, gauge plus 25% is nice. All right, anyway, so here's the... Finally decided to visit the Crystarium again, um, and this is just again. Uh, I'm doing the same thing that I did um, before, where I'm activating the small nodes with my Sentinel, 
And then the once we get to the big nodes, then I'm activating with the Ravager. And again, this is Sarah though, so uh, keep in mind it'll be a little bit different for when I level Null. It'll be the, you know, uh, activating large nodes as the Commando roll, you know, as opposed to the uh, Ravager roll. So here I've got my first. Um, I think this is the first bonus or level boost. And um, I'll be I'll be honest. I I really. I didn't. I didn't pick the best one. I shouldn't have gone with the rabbit, Ravager bonus boost. Should have gone with ATB Gauge plus one instead. Um, but at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. Um, you know, I'll, everything's gonna be fine, <laughs> uh, and we'll we will get those. Uh, I mean, the the great thing about this game is that you can't you can't really screw it up. Where you know you find you're at the end of your development and you don't have a certain ability that you wanted or a certain role level that's just that's not the case you, you're going to be able to get literally everything so you know don't um, don't freak out too much about um, you know not getting a certain role action or role or an ATB segment at you know a certain spot uh, you can again you really can do whatever you want um, you know it's art you might have a little bit of difficulty if you really pick some bad choices um, like, I get, like, I can't recommend the Sentinel bonus boost at all at this point in the game. I think that that's a, th those are a bonus boost that are best saved for much later, if not the actual end. Um, so, because they're just, they're, they're not, uh, they're not that useful. Um, you know, again, towards, towards the end of the game, once you've kind of got everything else, you can, you can grab those up, but... Uh, there's just other other abilities that are much more useful right now. Again, the ADB or ATB segment. I actually I actually think that should have been my my first choice, but uh, again I I held off um, and I actually get that the next the next time I uh, you know level up. So basically the way these crystalliums work, and I don't know if they ever change, but um, they're basically set up the same where, way where. Like for Noel, I know he's got a he's got an area there where he, there's like three small nodes right in a row, um, which is, you know a little annoying, but you know it is what it is. You just kind of gotta kind of gotta deal. Uh, here I was questioning whether or not I had activated those nodes correctly, which I, I did. Um, I thought that I had uh, used a large node, uh, and I didn't on on one of the um, Sentinel uh, bonus boosts. So. All right, we got a uh, we got a little ways into it. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. You know, got the first. Oh, there's the pulse, the pulse knife. Okay, so that's what I did there. After I finished my Crisarium leveling up, I, uh, I I did some more farming here in this area, and obviously picked myself up the pulse knight. Now, I'm kind of want to put him in. Um, I'm not I'm not using this commando, so I'm just gonna put him in that spot. Um, this guy is actually pretty useful for, I mean, he's a good, he's a good sentinel for quite a while. Uh, so I'll be, I'll be using him for a, a, a bit until I, I, I don't even know what I'm going to replace him with yet, which I guess, you know, isn't, isn't that important, uh, information to know, but, uh, anyways. Alright, so I'm just kind of fixing my paradigms for the time being here. I've got some, I've got some okay ones set up. There's one that I don't like, um, although I don't know that there's a whole lot I can do about it. So I've got it's it's one where Sarah's a, a sentinel and then the catch she's the healer and then I think Noel is on commando, which again there's just there's not a whole lot of option right now because um, well, you know I can't use the pulse knight as the sentinel spot because I wanted those three separate roles and unfortunately Noel or Sarah don't have the medic role yet so. Um, we'll fix that uh, quite a bit later. I, I I don't know when I'm actually going to unlock those, um, but we'll get there when we get there. So, all right, I'm going to do a little bit of leveling with my uh, Sentinel here or my my Pulse Pulse Knight. Um, so I'm just going to use potent materials because it's the only thing I have uh, for material or uh, tier two materials. Um, and on top of that, I mean he's he's a pretty decent. Uh, well, I mean. Sentinels, you usually don't want to use um, potent materials because they just—they really are just for defending. So, like HP bonuses are great for them. Uh, the, the strength and magic—I don't—I don't really think are that useful bonuses for them because they just don't really do much. 
uh, for that class. But anyways, I'm out of time. So as always, hope the guide was helpful. And hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching. Ha! <laughs>